I got one of those uh, dry fire systems today. Will I ever buy a 50 cal? If yes, then which? I don't feel I need an anti materiel rifle in my house, you know. They're badass, though. Where would I even fire a 50 cal? It's not like the range is going to let me. 50 cal for home defense, of course. Ah, yes, in case the, uh, in case the intruder is getting away and there's three walls and a car in between you and them, of course. Oh, I just wanted to say, I said that I got a dry fire system. So um, one of the things that you do to practice with a gun is you dry fire, like you cock, fire, cock, fire, you know, with, with no bullet in. Like, you do it at home. Uh, there are two systems. A laser and, like, a um, motion sensor. And I got the motion sensor. And basically what it is, is it determines how much... But you put it on the under rail of your pistol, and it determines how much your hand wavers when you pull the trigger. And it determines accuracy based on this. Aren't guns always loaded? <coughs> Excuse me. And it goes without saying... Of course, if you're dry firing a firearm, please look into it to make sure that it's not loaded, blah blah blah. I might also get a laser system and see which one I like more. Donate more to ensure that I can get more useless gun paraphernalia. Wait, I also need a dry fire mag so I can repeat fire over and over. Okay, here's the thing. Here's what's fucking me up, guys. Okay? This is a dry fire mag. The basic goal is that it allows you to continue firing your semi-automatic over and over without needing to recock it every time. Because normally you have to recock it every time if there's no bullet in the, in the, you know, to re, yeah, you know. If it's empty, you have to recock it, you know. But in the compatible firearms, look at this bullshit, okay? Look, this is all for the P320, which I own. P320, C, Carry, F, RX, RXP, X Series, X5 Legion, AXP, AXG Pro, P320, WCG320, and M17 and M18. But I don't have any of these. I have the P320 AXG Classic. So will it fit? How many P320 types can there be? I think it will. Click here to check if this fits your firearm. Hold on. Okay. <clears throat> Check your FCU to... Wait, I have to disassemble it? I don't want to disassemble it. Show gun. It's a nice gun. You probably need to clean it anyway. Yeah, probably. Now point it at us. Bang. Oh, if I... Oh, I know what I can do. I can just look up a replacement part, right? A replacement part will show the area that I'm supposed to be looking for, for this type gun, it would probably just be easier to take the slide off at this point. <sighs> Where's my hex key set? Where is it? It needs cleaning anyway. Hold on. Where is, where is, I don't know where it could possibly be. There's only one room in the house where I keep my gun. It's not a small kit, either. I found it. The AXG Classic fits the newer version of the mags. Does it? You don't need a hex key to remove the slide. It should be a takedown lever. The hex key is right here. Takedown lever. Not another gun lock subway. All right, you can tell who the Europeans are in chat. Jesus. If you say it'll work, then I'll go ahead and buy it, okay? Just return it if it doesn't work, no? Uh, maybe. I believe this is a bi-continental issue. Oh, you babies. Ah, let me buy it. A dry fire mag. It really does sound like a sex joke, doesn't it? This is for Glocks. No. What is an over-travel stop? I'm not even familiar with this gun term. I'll finish the rest of this later. Okay, chat. I just think we wouldn't have to deal with any of this bullshit with, oh, this gun does this, or this gun does that, you know? We wouldn't have to bother with any of that if we all just used revolvers like God intended. You know how easy it is to clean a revolver? You know how many jams you get using a revolver? Return to tradition. That's what I'm saying. Revolver? Wait, is it revolver? Sorry, revolver. I'm just, I've always got pussy on the mind. Revolver, revolver. Revolvers can have tons of shit going wrong with them. There are things that can go wrong, but they're, they're simple and reliable for the most part. 
Oh, I saw an interesting YouTube video that talked about the reason why during the Civil War they didn't use revolver rifles like they would use single shot rifles. I don't know how to find the YouTube video. It, it wasn't on my feed, like my regular YouTube history. They explode. Yeah, basically the gist of it is that back then, yeah, ammo cost. No, 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 no. It was way scarier than that. It was way, way, way scarier than that. So basically back then, even with revolvers, there would be, you'd have the little like lead ball and you'd have like the, the powder cap. And what would happen often, yeah, people in chat know, is that with revolvers, when you would fire like a six shooter, you know, um, some of the gunpowder would kind of trickle out around the shot and there would be a chain explosion where gunpowder would light in all six cylinders and it would fire all of them at once, you know, one of them through the barrel and the rest of them just out like through the cylinder, like, you know, push, and it would like destroy the gun and stuff. And that was just the thing that happened back then with revolvers. Now that's fine if you're firing a, uh, a one handed gun where your hand is behind the cylinder. But if it was a big old rifle, your left hand is up in front of where the cylinder would be, meaning that it would essentially just dissolve your left hand and kill you because it would just shred your arm and you'd bleed out. And that's why they didn't do it. Oh, it was actually a YouTube short. In the American Civil War, why wasn't revolver technology used in rifles? Well, my friend, that's just it. It was. The thing that you can see behind me here is the Colt Model 1855 cap and ball revolving rifle. Which just the sheer aesthetic of it is just, ah, oh, it looks so good. It does but the unfortunate nice. reality was that this thing was a goddamn death trap. You see, by this point in history, cap and ball revolvers were effectively standard. And you're right, being able to fire multiple shots rapidly is a great advantage for a weapon. So the thought with this weapon was to take the revolver and just elongate it, turn it into a rifle. But here is where it became a death trap. You see, cap and ball technology was used before you had cartridges. Cock and so in order ball. to load the weapon, you needed to use a percussion cap, gunpowder, and an actual ball, hence the cap and ball. The problem was that some of the gunpowder might be loose and then around the cylinder of the gun. This could cause a weapon to experience chain fire in which all rounds would be fired at once. And if your hand is up here when the rifle experiences chain fire, that is going to rip you apart. In the American Civil War, why was... So yeah, that'd be bad. Sorry, just a little interesting, um, interesting bit there. Now I just want to do the revolver spinny. Revolver, sorry. Do you use snap caps when you dry fire? Don't worry, I've checked. The firearms that I own are safe to fire without, um, without dry fire. And I would never dry fire a 22 LR. Because, like, what am I practicing for? Being menaced by a paper target?